for girl. Ciao. Anyway, so. Hello vlog! Happy oh not my tongue being blue. I just ate that candy. Oh my gosh. You guys, happy vlogmas day 18. Your girl looks cute because I'm about to go Christmas shopping. Period. I'm gonna FaceTime with Chinese. She got a new phone! Period. It's the iPhone 12 for me. She got her Christmas present early, you feel me? Um, I just have on, I just have on this one piece jumpsuit thingy that I got on Santee Alley. And this misguided crop to jean jacket that I actually, the color of it, like I don't understand why it's so bleached, but whatever. My Telfy, that's my go-to, my go-to bag. And then my Stan Smithies. Just cause I'm gonna be probably doing a lot of walking <laughs> cause we're Christmas shopping. Gotta get some presents for, you know, the people in my life that I love and shit like that. <laughs> so that's what I'm about to go do right now. So come on, let's go. Hey, I know I said I was Christmas shopping, but I'm in Walmart and look at these baskets. These would actually look really cute in my bathroom. I need some bins for like underneath the sink. Cause it's just like, all the stuff that I have under there is just thrown under the sink. And I like them because they're woven. But then they also have these plastic ones that I feel like probably just be better. Are these all the same size? This one's narrower. I'm gonna just do three of these. Two for under the sink and then one for the out for the cabinet next to the sink. The thing is, with people in my life, they're not like materialistic at all. <laughs> so it's like so hard. Also, I feel like I've gotten everything that I could have gotten for them. Ooh, this is kind of pretty. Plastic. I do need a soap dispenser. See, this is gonna very quickly turn into just me shopping for myself because to be honest, my apartment is still not fully furnished. Okay, period. Ooh, this is a really cute marble soap dispenser. Look, and then they have the matching toothbrush thingy and the little thingy for the soap. I want and this is a vanity tray I already have a vanity tray I'm definitely gonna get one of these though honestly you guys I think my family will be happy that I'm buying stuff for myself <laughs> look at these two pillows that I just found uh, they're like this really pretty taupey color and they look like um, sheepskin but they're not 
obsessed and they're only $15 each. I just bought pillows yesterday from Nordstrom Rack. They were $30 each, which is still not bad. But 15, you cannot beat 15. I'm over here like pushing into all of these pillows because I want new pillows. The pillows I have are really cheap pillows that I got at Tarjay. Actually, they were like $5 when I first moved here. I just bought my air mattress and my two pillows and that's the pillows I've been using, but like, I want something. I like a firm, but not too firm. This feels good. I think I'm just gonna get two of these. I had picked out two other ones. You guys, I just keep adding more and more stuff. But now I'm looking at kitchen stuff. I definitely need a cheese grater. And I need measuring spoons, but I saw these really cute ones on Amazon that I want to wait to get. <laughs> They're sold out right now. They would match my aesthetic perfectly, actually. They got toasters. I don't want a toaster. I need really good knives. I don't have really good knives. Well, I don't even have multiple. I just have one. One knife that I use for everything. There was also this knife set. Tasty makes knives see once you have a following you're in the business to literally sell anything Ooh, that one down there is really nice what's a good knife brand knives brand i don't know what's the technical term i want a waffle maker i would make waffles all the time Oh, I just really appreciate how affordable <laughs> Walmart is because this place, there's like so many little things that I want to buy. Am I going to use it? Do I need it? Not really, but <laughs> I want it. You guys, look at my hair. It completely dropped all my curls. I just got back from Walmart. I got a shit ton of stuff <laughs> that I wasn't planning on getting, but all actually things that I needed. So like, let's do a little haul of what I got. Um, the first thing already though, I already like had to pull it out and <laughs> see what it looked like because I was so excited. <laughs> are these pillows? So I bought these. These are the two pillows that I bought yesterday that were $30 each from Nordstrom Rack. They're really soft though. They're like super duper soft. They're, they're really nice. Like I actually really like these. So I don't feel like that was expensive because that was on sale too. Um, but then when I went to Walmart just now, I got these two pillows. <laughs> they're like a faux sheep skin situation, sheep fur. But the color, I was so drawn to the color of these. They were the last two. All the other colors are ugly. <laughs> these were the only two cute ones. So I was like, I have to get them. And they were $15 each. Like, that's so cheap. So I set it up on my couch because I just, I wanted to see, like, what it, was, what it would look like. I have two different, I have a throw and then, like, this is, like, a full-size blanket um, on my couch right now. It just looks so comfy over there, like, <laughs> it actually, like, looks so freaking cute. Wow, okay. So, let's do this little Walmart haul. While I have your attention, while I have your attention, wow, I've just been in a home decor frenzy because the other night, I freaking, am I gonna sit on the floor? Am I gonna sit on a pretty couch? I think I'm gonna sit on the floor. Yeah. Um, the other night at like 2 a.m. I bought a nightstand. <laughs> it was on sale, but still like, I've just been on this home decor kick because I low key wanna see what this place looks like fully furnished, like I'm over it, like it not being fully furnished. So I just keep buying stuff. So um, after the pillows, I saw these bins. I need bins for underneath my kitchen, not kitchen. Well, actually I need bins for under the kitchen sink too. But these are gonna go in the bathroom because they're like a fabric. 
and yeah i have a bunch of shit under there that's just kind of just thrown so i was like i need some bins i forgot how much these were and i don't remember where i put my receipt i think it's in my wallet um but they were hella cheap they were probably like eight or nine dollars something like that so i just got three these are the only three everything was like the last bits like the pillows are like the last two in that color and that size and then the baskets there was only those three so i couldn't even get more if i wanted to then i was walking past oh niggas are so weird like honestly i i i don't have time for that like i don't have time for like immature behavior childish behavior um i just don't have time for it <laughs> grow up <laughs> grow up <laughs> Let's act like adults. Let's not act like babies. Let's not act like children. Let's act like adults because we're adults. We're older than children. We're not children anymore. Anyway, we get back into the swing of things. Um, the next thing I got, I was walking past an aisle and I just saw a giant sign for $29.96. And I was like, was thirty dollars because thirty dollars is not nothing crazy you know i almost bought some shoes this morning that was thirty dollars <laughs> um and i was like jasmine we're not supposed to be buying stuff for ourselves we're supposed to be buying stuff for other people so i didn't get the shoes but the shoes oh their heels and i'm like even if i get these right now and i don't wear them for like six months like until summer like that's still okay because they're freaking beautiful like they're gorgeous you know so the next thing that i got was for 30 dollars i don't know if these are that cheap but i just remember these being expensive at some point i got a new triple ah! i love it oh and it's a really cute color it's like white with a, a rose gold base i'm pretty sure that's what that is right or like brass i don't know but this is so freaking pretty and cute ah! and i was like i saw it and i saw the sign for 29.96 and then i looked down and i saw neutral and neutral and neutral and i was like no way <laughs> and then i went up to the thing and it was like neutral for 29.96 and i was like so i can make smoothies ah! <laughs> like i was so excited so definitely um do that in a motherfucking court okay period okay period you know what's really funny niggas like to have like catch an attitude or whatever niggas like to catch an attitude and but you're not like you're not paying for anything so like what are you catching an attitude about no money is leaving your pocket so what are you upset about you know i'm not asking you to buy me shit like i'm not asking you to do nothing it's like why do you have an attitude <sighs> girl ciao anyway so the next things i got was for the bathroom girl <laughs> i got this cute bath mat it's super super soft like it's really soft and just plush like my wet soft supple toes just stepping on this as i get out the shower <laughs> hello <laughs> i'm trying to feel that <laughs> so i got a bath mat and i was so excited about this oh and i got two white towels because i'm trying to take one of the um, instagram girls look oh i don't want to tell you what kind of picture i'm trying to take but i just got two white towels these were, these were literally like 287 each like three dollars each super duper cheap and then ah, I got this. these are so freaking cute but i do want to do like a little um decor diy with this but still like obsessed these marble um a soap dispenser and a toothbrush holder oh my god it's so freaking cute oh they're like and they like feel like it's real marble like this is not no this was 12 dollars and this was 11 dollars so freaking cute i low-key want to spray paint 
the, this brass because my colors are brass, marble, and white. I want it, and then the dark, the dark cabinets, of course. But like, I wanted to spray paint this, so I'm like, I'm kind of debating on whether or not I should spray paint it. Um, what's next? Oh. And then the two last little things that I got <laughs> was a cheese grater. You guys know I needed this so bad. So I got it, it was like $5. And then I got this giant mixing bowl cause I only have a smaller one. Like I have one that's like two sizes smaller than this. And I just feel like sometimes I'd be having too much in there and it'd just be spilling out. So I wanted something that was deeper and bigger. So that's all the stuff that I got from walmart <laughs> um no but seriously a lot of the christmas shopping that i did this year was like online and just sent directly to the recipients so i was just trying to see if there was anything more that i could get in store like you know when you just want to see if there's like any really good deals on stuff or like you see something and you think of someone and you're like, oh, that would be a really good present. But I didn't see anything. I saw stuff for me though. So <laughs> no, but seriously, I didn't really see anything worth getting. But like everyone's taken care of as far as like <laughs> family and stuff. <laughs> now i'm really hungry i made some fire ass spaghetti last night spaghetti with meat sauce it was a five cheese meat sauce with spaghetti well that made spaghetti it was so good and i have leftovers and i'm about to eat that shit right now i'm about to eat that i have to finish editing this video so it can go up that's probably what I'm going to be doing for a while. So yeah. Oh, let me quickly show you what I got yesterday when I went outside when I was supposed to. <laughs> no, I went, I left to go to the post office. I got to the post office and they were closed. Or they closed early. So I was like, damn. And then I was like, I'm literally a block away from Target. Let me go to Target. So I went to Target yesterday. <laughs> and look what I got. Two more of those pop, um, the popcorn flavor, the the Wonder Shop. Yo, I'm obsessed. This one is so freaking good. And then I saw caramel corn clusters, dark chocolate sea salt, and then this one's kettle corn peppermint. Ah! Don't know, those look mad good. Like, and it just looks so cute sitting on my counter. I low key want to get another one of these so that it's full. <laughs> Because I'm gonna finish that one. I mean, they're just all so like enticing. You know how when we were younger and like your grandparents or like you go to like a random party or whatever holiday party and they'd have that tin thing with the popcorn in three and it'd be like regular salted popcorn and then it'd be like cheese popcorn and then it'd be the caramel popcorn. I only ever ate the caramel. I, I was not fucking with the cheese cause it didn't taste like real cheese, it tastes like artificial nasty cheese and then i wasn't fucking with the salt because it was just like too salty like they would be like od like mad salt on it like i'm not trying to eat that so i really only ate the caramel so that's why i'm i only have sweet i don't even know if they have salted flavors or like yeah i think all of them are like a sweet makeup still looks good i'm about to put some music on and edit this video because it needs to go up um look at my couch oh i'm just so in love with the way at the everything's coming together i need like two more pillows and yeah and i already know what they're gonna be i just have to like find them but like i know what i'm looking for we have that area. <laughs> this area is still, I'm working on this. I told you guys I ordered a nightstand. Oh, and I got two pillows from Walmart too. I got, um, this one's like a firmer one. You guys saw me punching the, the pillows in Walmart. But I got a firmer one and then I got like, uh, this says for back and side sleeper. And I'm a side sleeper. So I like to put a pillow sometimes like in between my legs. It just looks mad like cozy in here. 
and that's the vibe that i'm going for i'm going for like cute cozy comfy <laughs> remember remember when i drilled that into you guys' head i was like comfy cozy cute or whatever the hell i said like doing the most Oh, my, my apartment looks cute. Somebody DM'd me the other day and was like, girl, your apartment looks so cute. Can we get a, um, an apartment tour? And I was like, it's not fully furnished. <laughs> as soon as it's like the way that it's supposed to be, like the way it is in my head out here, like I will, that apartment tour is going to be fire, okay? I'm going to get, get a really nice like stabilizer. And I'm going to be getting all the shot. It's gonna be real good. It's gonna be on a nice day with the sun is shining, you know. Just like everything just look good, you know. <laughs> um, but until then, you guys are just gonna get like the snippets of like when I go shopping and I do a decor haul. Yeah, it's the body for me. It's the body yaddy yaddy for me. Body yaddy 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 yaddy. It's the body yaddy 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 Think they think they think they think they think they think Body yaddy 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 Man, we stress free all 2021, ladies. We not zooming it no more. We not letting these niggas stress us the fuck out. We just gonna choose to like to not participate. Like the second I feel stress forming, I'm just gonna not participate in it. Like I I don't take part in this stress. Like you can have it back. I don't want it. I'm for myself Miss Diamante, what's her name? Diamante Quavia. Miss Sweetie, yeah. she be giving us looks, honey. You know, um, those people that just like they wake up and they have like hair and lamp every day. Like, like yeah, people. yeah. Even if they're not doing shit. Yeah. She's that person. It's really funny because I feel like the people who started that trend was really like the Kardashians. Like, I'm sure people did it before them. But mm -hmm. with them having their reality show and then like, like literally okay. like showing that that's what they did like okay. every single day, it like became a thing to like have a glam team and like get glam every morning and have a glam room and like all yeah, that like, stuff. Like wake up, like look good, feel good type of thing. Like yeah. get through your day. Yeah. Look, look in like a said. Yep. And now that's the standard, I feel like, for beauty. Yeah. Is, like, having a really good glam team and just always, like, being from, like, head to toe, like, hair done, skin's good, like, makeup, like, nails, outfit. Like, yeah. to now, like, I feel like almost because that's the new standard of beauty, that when, like, I don't have something as simple as, like, my toes done, I feel like... Ugh, like I'm really bummy like I'm slumming it like this is I, ha I feel like I have to have like every Everything checked off in order for me to feel like a true bad bitch like like I'm a bad bitch without it But like when I have all of those things I'm like, oh, yes, like this is like a full glam moment like nails done hair done, Makeup fit is fire like yeah shoes um, why like people like her be stinky like they want to be stinky with like their makeup artists and what but not like their, their hair people bro you know what's so but, crazy about that whole but situation but in this at the same time it's like in a in a way like 
it makes sense why she would want to because like she literally gets paid for looking pretty and taking like pretty photos yeah so it's like kind of like it's like her job to like just look good all the time and that's completely understandable that she like wants her own makeup artist like i completely get that but what i don't agree with is like the price like she said she was gonna sign a makeup artist to her and only her for $150,000 a year. Like that's gonna be their contract. But then the, her old makeup artist was talking about how she made a million dollars in for the whole year. So it's like, why would I choose to do makeup for one person and only make 150,000 right. when I could choose like, to work for myself, myself and have multiple yeah. clients and make damn near. Yeah, so I feel like she's not wrong for wanting. Um, to have her own makeup she's artist. From, from what she she said to that girl and about her though publicly, like yeah, she was really mad that she was doing other people's faces and she wasn't available for her. But if like if that's the case, yeah. then just pay her more money. Like they at the end of the day, money. she gonna go wherever the money's at. He's hustling. Yeah, and because she's not in a contract with you, she it's not like she only has to do your face. Like she's other people gonna reach out and she's gonna do other people's faces. I be I be really wishing that majority of these like really pretty like Instagram girls just don't open their mouth ever like yeah you know how like Bernice Burgos doesn't talk no he lies were told like, more than that. they asked me to do story times on my for vlogmas China and I literally wanted to call you up and be like what should I talk about because like I feel like one you literally know everything that's ever happened to me so two most of the things you were there to experience yourself and yeah. three just like i just don't know like i just feel like and there's also like you know my memory is just like not all the way yeah. there because there'll be moments where you will bring up something and i'll be like oh yeah i like, definitely I did like have it i'm gonna start making a new habit of like writing things down yeah either like naturally over time i forget it or like certain things like don't want to remember or certain things i was too lit to remember yeah or certain things um like yeah that's that's what it is yeah there's definitely I mean, there's definitely have been moments where like they were like stressful or traumatizing and i've purposely forgot them yeah. like i forget or, the like, details or like yeah like i push it i push it so far in the back of my mind that like it's kind of a blur now but then like yeah. certain things will be said or brought up and I'll be like, oh yeah, that definitely did happen to me. <laughs> like, but it's like me wanting to like purposely forget so like I'm forgetting. <laughs> that's, I don't know what that's called, but I feel like it's a mental illness. There's no, there is definitely a term for that like purposely. I'm not looking at that. I did that with majority of my childhood, so. That's, that's why, like, that's literally me, and I've noticed this, like, for the past couple days, that, like, I be trying to think about, like, my life. Like, if I wanted to write an autobiography, bro, what would I say? And I cannot remember, like, shit before. No. Like, literally high school and very vaguely <laughs> middle school like, i i wouldn't be able to do, to write an autobiography i literally wouldn't be able to the only reason why i remember so much of like let's say my adult life and like major experiences is because i vlogged them i feel like mm -hmm. vlogging is like a way for me to remember my own experiences because yeah. i really be forgetting like stuff that happened motivated forgetting motivated forgetting that's me and that like i know that started from when i was a kid and also like another thing that that is like a fact that i knew is that when you like think back to something to a memory you're actually thinking about the last time you thought about it and not like necessarily that memory like that see and if you never think about it then it's gonna be yeah. hard to remember yeah yeah that's me. Yeah. Like, I really be just trying not to think. Like, I'm just, like, constantly looking forward. Like, trying to just think about the future and how I can make the future better because I can't change the past. Because I'm yes. such a control freak. And I know I have no control over things that have already happened to me. Bitch, no one was talking to you! She really just be coming out of nowhere, like... 
connected to my phone out of nowhere. Anyway, um, what was I saying? See? Oh yeah, I'm I'm such a control freak to like I get anxiety about thinking about things that have happened to me that I have no control over and I cannot change. Things that have happened in the past that are out of my control, they're out of my hands. So it's like I don't want to I don't like thinking about them because it stresses me out and it gives me anxiety and I dwell on it. So instead I'm like, okay, I'm just not going to think about it. I'm just going to think about the future. I'm going to think about how I can cause positive change, how I can make better things happen, or how I can make better decisions. Like I'm always thinking about the future, so like I'm not dwelling on the past. So it's like really hard for me to think back to like something that really hurt me or that happened that was like really traumatic because like I'm trying not to think about that. Mm -hmm. And if every time you think about something it's about good thing about the last time you thought about it. That's crazy. Uh, isn't it? It's me drinking red wine and eating clementines. Because it's me like, I was just drinking this with my dinner, but now I'm about to go get some um, Gouda cheese. Period. I wanted Triscuits, but they're done. I'm <gasps> mad. I have Triscuits, but I didn't know still. I'm fucking slap. Like, those, like, top five. Top five. First person in. Damn, now I want some plant. I want them those thick ass plant um tostones chips from Tostone. Trader Joe's. From Trader Joe's, <laughs> yeah, those are so, so good. I remember I got, when I first got here, and me and Mona went food shopping together at Trader Joe's for the first time, and I got those. I got two bags because I knew I was telling her when we were in Trader Joe's. I was like, yeah, these are really good. You should get a pack. Like if you like plant chips, she was like, eh. She's like, I'll just like have one of yours. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Okay. I got back. <laughs> I got back. We smoked when I was trying to shut you. And then I opened up the chips, bro. She finished one bag. I looked back. The bag was done. <laughs> she was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, it's okay. That's how I got two bags because I knew. <laughs> Yo, those chips are so, they're tostones, but they're like, thick and they're mad crunchy and they have the perfect they're amount of good. sea salt on them yeah and they're just no. so good no, they're and they're the so trader good. joe's they like need no flavor nothing they don't need nothing like you literally just want to like inhale the bag like yeah oh i got um i got packages to open well not packages oh i do have a package to go and get downstairs okay let me go do that go yeah, downstairs i still i want to like rewatch season three though. no i rewatched all of season three before i started season four because i literally yeah. i had to yeah china that's what i wanted oh. to tell you oh my gosh i had a nightmare the other night chinese yeah, and you know how I am with my nightmares. Like, they're always yeah. so realistic, bro. Because of that nightmare, I bought and <laughs> went on Amazon at 3 in the morning. And I ordered this fucking door lock Thank thing. You. This oh. Mona and my sister sent me this video. It was like, things women who live by themselves need to have in their apartment. And it was like fucking security systems is one of them and whatever and then there was this door thing it's a portable door lock that you can take with you when you go on vacation to like hotels or you can have it in your apartment and it's like you stick it in the door and no matter if the person has a key on the other side or they try to bust the door in it's not going to open like it jams the door from the inside so like trapping me inside safe in town but like the fact that like i had that experience before i went to sleep and then i had a nightmare and it was like the nightmare was like that but like on another level like i literally i mean the only thing i was gonna say is that like you told me plenty of times in the past that like your dreams always reflect like your current mental yeah so it's like yeah it could have been the anxiety yeah of that like situation whenever like, yeah that whenever happens, i go to sleep like, with like anything on my like heavy on my mind like if i'm really sad about something if i'm really upset about something if i'm like really scared or nervous like i always dream about it if it's like too heavy on my mind before i go to sleep 
like in my sleep i'll just dream about it but it'll be like even worse like whatever it is it'll be like my anxiety just like me thinking about it like in worst case scenario yeah so this is a little door lock thing right i need to watch or let me just look at these fucking instructions yeah safety first ladies we can't be out here letting these niggas think they got one up on us test the fit so you stick it in the door oh you stick this part in the door i look like you look like yes I look like I have three jobs. You look like yes. But I don't And sleep. they look like no. <laughs> I'm a bad bitch. I ain't never been to mixed breed. <laughs> okay, it's on the door. Oh, you know what? It was great. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Safety first, niggas. Girl. Oh gosh, you just scared me. What happened? You passed? Yeah. Oh, she passed. She's graduating. Oh, dang. Yeah, I'm, still waiting. I'm still waiting for two classes, but. But that's so, that's the coding the class? class? The class that I was worried, no, it's not even, it's, um, it was hard, it's like, I don't know if I was overthinking it, or like, the nerves, or what. So, so, so basically I know now that I passed all my classes, that's like, period. That's like a given right now. That's so good. Congratulations. I'm, like, I'm, I'm ready to like, bungee jump right now. <laughs> Like, I want to do something crazy. Like, I want to skydive. No. She I want to skydive and do something ride. crazy. I bought another um, cast iron because I fucked up the last one, you guys. How? <laughs> ah, it rusted. I left it in the sink and it rusted. Look. Look, that's the old one and this is the new one. Well, that one's way better now because it's deeper. So it's yeah, good. this one's deeper. I bought this off of Amazon. But this one rusted. She said, oh bust that bitch open. <sighs> I really need a box cutter. It's time to get drunk, drunk. Pull it up, pull it up. Watch it out, find out. I wonder what I got in the final. I'm not thinking about him asking what I got on the final. Because I'm curious. Oh my gosh, it's my logo, look. It's yes. printed on it. No, that is fire. With the that is so fucking ah! cute. Ah! <laughs> That's cute. That's so cute. Oh, and then the lashes are gonna come and baby girl's gonna be in here. Baby <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so cute. I love the like the telepathy of excitement for us right now. Like, oh my god, us both experiencing good things right now. Oh my god, yes, bitch. You know I've been seeing fucking one 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 and four 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 so much this past like two weeks, bro. Every single day I see one on one in multiple places, like not even just the time. And four for four. And I looked it up and both of them was like, You're on the right path. Your angels are beside you. They're guiding you. They're here to help you and assist you in any way that you have you they can, but you're doing what you need to be doing. Like continue doing it and everything that you're working towards will manifest. Like that's literally what both of them mean. And I'm just like I keep seeing it every single day, multiple times a day. Yeah. Oh, they look so good. Oh, I'm so excited. But they look so good. My logo that I created, it's Freedom. the fact that it's like printed on the case. Like it just looks yeah, so I can do everything by myself. Sleek. Periana. What is it? A glass of wine a day keeps the doctor away? That's not the saying, but yes. Oh. <laughs> so that was about to yes, I just the fuck out of it. That was really fucking counter. That was really fucking counter.
I'm gonna rock out on FaceTime with Chiny for the rest of the night. We gonna be chopping it up as we normally do. Her semester's over. Shout out to all the students that finished their semester. Shout out to all the graduates. Anybody graduating, this is their last semester. They're finished with school. Congratulations. More success, more life, more everything to you. Period. Y'all been putting in that work. This was a crazy ass year. Pull it up. Pull it up. Get you a, a glass of wine and drink it up. Cheers. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed today's Vlogmas video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Go ahead and smash that like button. You can also go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the fam to your post notifications because I've been uploading every single day for Vlogmas. The consistency been there, okay? Period. I love you guys so much. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you on my next upload, which is going to be tomorrow. Bye.